Hey guys, what's going on? It's Justin Springer, AKA the SMS King with most won't we will and welcome to the YouTube channel. Now, here's the thing guys, uh, for those who have been subscribed to me and been followers of me, I am so sorry I left you guys hanging. I did not mean to. I recently had to take a quick trip and I didn't make enough videos. I probably could have done some of the videos at the hotel, but it is what it is. I was having a lot of fun and sometimes you forget to make videos, right? Anyways, with that being said, I had to go to uh, Florida. I got a chance to see my brother, but then I had to go to Cleveland, which was not fun. It was very, very cold, but I had to meet with some clients and what transpired from that event, uh, I'm going to be sharing it with you guys. So anyways, uh, my name is Justin Springer. For those that are new here, okay, uh, I'm a part of a group called Most Won't We Will. And then on this channel, we like to talk about motivation, entrepreneur stuff, making money, uh, little tips and advice for that. Uh, right now, one of our biggest things is SMS marketing. That's why I called myself the SMS King, which you will learn more about that in this video. But anyways, or not in this video, I'm saying in other videos, but if you're just geared into entrepreneurship, then go ahead and hit the like button because what it does is it allows other people to see this valuable information. And if you love the content, please subscribe. If you don't like the content, I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Don't subscribe. It's not going to hurt my feelings because why? I'm not chasing likes. And I'm going to tell you about content creating for 2020 in this video. And that's really the bottom line of it all is stop chasing the likes. Okay. So here's the thing, guys. I should have done this video at the beginning of January, but I didn't. All right. Uh, January is pretty much over. But this is my so called prediction for 2020. Okay. And I'm sure you've already have seen it. Now, these tips that I'm going to give you are not really new tips. I'm just uh, the reason why I called it 2020 content creating is not to be clickbaity. It's just to really drill it in as far as what I see and what I think is going to happen. Okay. I think right now, more and more people are trying to get online, and that's great, okay? So that's really, really good for you marketer, for you real true marketers out there, you'll know that that is a blessing, okay? For your beginning marketers, you're gonna be a little bit nervous, and you're gonna be a little bit scared because you see it as competition, and you have to stop. It's not competition, it's just, it's actually a really cool thing that more and more people are gravitating to this stuff, okay? But here's the other thing. With this extra quote unquote competition or more people getting on, whatever you see it as, all right, comes more noise. And with more noise means you have to find a way to stand out more because if you know anything, it's really all about attention. How can I grab your attention? Now, here's the beauty of it. If you notice that my videos right now, they're nothing crazy videos. They're not high tech made or anything like that because you want to know why that's not really me. Where do I make the bulk of my money? Pretty much Facebook. Okay. And uh, on YouTube, but they're pretty much Facebook. That's where I make the bulk of my money. All right. The bulk of my money is there. So when I get on YouTube, it's kind of cool because you know what I mean? I just make videos to help people out and people gravitate to it. And well, here's some of the tips that I'm doing um, and I'm going to share with you when it comes to content creating. And I think personally for 2020, you have to stop chasing the likes. Now, this is very, very, very hard. OK, and and what I mean by chasing like it is I'm going to just put this out there really quick. It really depends on your niche. OK, uh, for instance, I mean, I see certain girls, right? You know, you see it all the time on Instagram. Look at the stuff that they're doing, right? And on Instagram, I mean, it's crazy, but they're trying to gravitate, you know, the men or whatever to their page so they can sell them other stuff. So if, that, if that's what you're trying to do, if that's the end result, do you. But, but I'm talking about for you other marketers, you have to quit chasing the likes because I see it all the time. Man, people copy other people or they're just posting quotes all day or they're posting good morning all day and they're limiting their content creating and, it, and it's pretty sad. Now, when you go off, and you start being unique, it does get a little scary because at first you won't get as many likes. But what you'll start to do is gravitate the real people who are actually interested in you and who are actually interested in buying whatever you have rather than, you know, just getting a, a thumbs up. OK, so this is my prediction. Stop chasing the likes. So basically even with these four tips i i ran I, I wrote down these four things really quick and it's kind of crazy because really 
they're not even like tips. They like they all come together, honestly. <laughs> like they they basically I can squeeze them all into one big one, and that really is it. Is just to quit chasing likes. So here we go. We're gonna talk about it, right? So let me break down what I mean. Number one, document rather than promote. Okay, talk about struggles. People do not do this enough, right? We we read somewhere or we see a tip about oh be positive on instagram or on facebook and you want to be positive but don't be afraid to share your struggle you know what i mean like it like for instance if you've been cheated on by your boyfriend or girlfriend and then you go on all day talking about how men are assholes and men do this and men do that and men do that that's complaining okay that is being a little negative but if you sat there and actually told somebody that hey my boyfriend or my girlfriend cheated on me and it hurt like hell Guys, that's something that everybody goes through. And it, what the cool thing about it is it doesn't make you so much of a ma machine. It makes you real. It makes you so real that more people gravitate to that because we've all been there before. We've been cheated on or something like that. So what I'm saying is don't be negative, but you know, don't be afraid to share your struggles. You know what I mean? You don't have to be this million dollar guy. In fact, you know, I don't even really chase or follow the people that just like only talk about money all the time, which, you know, the money is cool, but I, I do think it's funny how like some people would go like go all out to get like these pictures. And I'm like, is that even real? Like, <laughs> like some of them are like just chilling like this. And I'm like, you know what I mean? Like, like who, who just takes a picture like that all the time? You know what I mean? Like I'd rather have real stuff. Okay. And I, I think you would too. You probably even follow the people that are more real. Right. And the reason why is because we, we just, we want to know that, Hey, that you are struggling too, that you are a, a normal person. Now, now somebody that does have money, their struggles are going to be a little bit different than your struggles, but we've all been cheated on before, right? By a significant other. So don't be afraid to document your stuff, right? Don't be afraid to talk about how you spent money on this marketing tip and you found out that it wasn't really the best marketing tip or that you wasted a, a, a whole hour watching a webinar and didn't get anything out of it. In fact, what it can do is catapult you because now you've kind of learned what you don't like in the industry and now you're producing something to change that and when you produce something to change that people might not gravitate immediately but they'll start to look and they'll start to be like wow that he's not doing what they all do and that's really really cool and that's how you start standing out from all the noise okay so number two uh be unique this kind of goes back to just that being unique and authentic right so i see a lot of people on facebook right they're they're they say good morning and they say good morning because it gets a lot of likes and a lot of people say good morning back and they get all that feel good stuff and that's great but here's the thing with facebook for me anyways there's no sense in posting more than once a day and what i'm trying to say is if i post good morning every day i'm wasting my posts where i could have been giving some value or something else right to get tons more likes and to get more sales all right so just saying good morning is great but that's chasing a light be authentic you know what i mean say oh i'm having a hell of a morning and here's why you know what i mean and and, and talk about a whole bunch of stuff right uh or at least just be authentic. When we start sharing quotes after quote after quote after quote, that's cool and I get it, but you know what I mean? But start coming up with your own quotes. Start coming, if you can't think of your own quotes, you know what I mean? Start just giving more value. And that leads me to number three, give more value. And back in the day, I, I used to say give value in people. And I said, you can do quotes, that is value. But that gets old, man. Talk about something that you've actually learned. Like, hey, here's a here's a cool tip wherever you're at. If you're on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, here's a cool tip. Do this, 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 and this, and this, and this. And don't be afraid to give it away for free, not expecting anything in return. You'll be amazed that some people will just automatically gravitate to that. In fact, for instance, uh, I saw a video about uh, Gary Vee talking about Instagram and exactly how he would do the DMs. And he said, man, and I saw one of the comments, a guy was like, wow, I just paid this quote unquote guru a $500 course for him to tell me what you just told me. Okay. Now, and I know that's hard because, you know, we were always taught the game is to be sold, not to be told. 
But the reason why Gary gave that free advice away was he wasn't trying to discredit any guru selling it for 500. He was basically just saying, hey, that, that's, here's, my t here's just a cool tip, and this is how you could do it, right? And he was just giving some free value. And now Gary doesn't sell any training like that, but if, if he did, that would be a great segue is that I gave you a valuable tip about Instagram growth. Now I can sell you on my Instagram training or whatever the case may be, right? So don't give a, you know, it, it gravitates people because they're like, wow, that was awesome advice for free. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and if you get people thinking like, wow, this is what this guy gives away for free. I can only imagine what he gives for real. You'd be amazed. Okay. Now I will admit some people will just follow you just all for the free information. You have those people, but guess what? Those are the same people that a lot of times, not every one of them. Okay. Cause I, I used to be a follower of just free advice until I learned my own things. Right. But I mean, but you'll be, you'll be surprised that a lot of those people don't ever change anyways. Right. No offense. Now some do. I'm, I'm one of them. Right. Cause I changed and I started investing in, uh, people that I really, really like. And it wasn't just because they're free content. It was just because of how they portrayed themselves and what they did. And that drives me more than anything. I mean, just throwing it in my face that you made $50,000 this month, I really don't care. I know a lot of people that made $50,000 in a month. So I don't, that doesn't drive me. You know what I mean? Because I'm in my, in my mind, I'm like, good for you. But what, what does that do for me? And, and that's not to be rude. I'm not, <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, honestly, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> If you really want to know, it's like, how did that benefit me? Like, I want to say congratulations, but how does that benefit me, right? And so when I can see that they're 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 not saying fifty thousand dollars to brag, they're saying fifty thousand dollars or just to help or to say, hey, this is how we can help you. That that allows me to listen more because when you're bragging, my ears close off, right? And my last piece of advice. And this goes all this. It's all the same concepts, right? Document, be unique, authentic, give value. Uh, do a rant every now and then. This is just a little bonus tip, okay? What I, I've been surprised about. I've gotten a lot of cool reactions off of it. But pick one of your platforms and go on a rant one day. Just a, just a little rant. Nothing nothing major. You just you just uh, you know I hate LA drivers and this is why. Or uh, or for me, I'm a Texas boy. Okay, I'm a Texas boy, and uh, lately. Uh, which I really need to vlog about all this, but I've been going on all these trips, right? Because, uh, well, I've been trying to meet more people outside of, uh, you know, or, you know, meet them on Facebook, but go meet up with them. Uh, you know, uh, trying to build clientele for this agency that I'm kicking off, which we'll talk about more in another video. But, um, and it's so funny because like, I'll, I'll go to like the liquor store that <laughs> I know the liquor store, right? Or another store, it doesn't matter. And it's amazing how people will walk in front of me and they just won't say excuse me and i'm like man you know I'm, I'm from down south you know what i mean so um even though i'm living in la now but you know i just naturally do it like hey if i'm walking in front of you i say oh sorry excuse me let me, let me get by you know what i mean uh you know for the most part this is something little but the reason why i say rant is because one it shows a cool unique side about you right and number two like it, it's it's a little thing that everybody experiences right like, oh, he cut me off on the road, or oh, he didn't say excuse me, or he flipped me off for no reason, what, whatever it is, those little rants uh, get people's attention. So uh, hopefully a rant giving tons and tons and tons of value, but more value, like more, like more something rather than just a, a, a help, like, you know, a quote, you know what I mean? Uh, being authentic, being authentic as you possibly can and then document and being actually transparent. I hope these tips really help you out because in a world right now, I'm telling you right now, when I said that these tips were probably nothing new, I really meant it because a lot of people probably have heard this stuff before, but they're not implementing it. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you implement it now, you're not going to have massive sales by tomorrow, but if you implement it now, I guarantee you in a week to a month, your whole, your whole game will change. Your likes, might go down just a little bit, but your whole game will change and more sales will start coming your way because people are like, wow, you know, this person is real. Like, I mean, that's, it, it's just, guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's a different feeling. I, I know a guy uh, who is making about, I wanna say anywhere from 50 to $100,000 a month, right? And, you know, he used to go on these Instagram videos 
and it was just insane, you know, like, and, and I'm not talking bad about people, but like he had pimples and all this. And, and, and what I'm trying to say is though, that, that that's a real thing, guys. We all suffer from it. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, I, I know it sounds stupid, right? But the thing about it is, is we often think that when these people are making so much money, we put them on a different platform, so to speak, or a pedestal that they can't be real. And you have to stop that. And what I'm trying to say is, when you do that, you be surprised. Now, if you're just not if you're just not very very real with yourself and real with others, I'm sorry, but sometimes just being authentic, being real, giving out tons of cool free value and documenting your the the struggles and the journey more than just promoting, you know what I mean? You will make more noise coming in 2020. Then you will just copying what everybody else is doing right now to chase a couple of likes that honestly you're getting likes, but I know you're not getting sales. It is what it is, man. I you know, hate to call you out, but I know you are. So anyways, guys, hopefully those three or four tips help. I know it all can be summed down to one thing, but anyways, that's my content creating for 2020. So stand out, go produce some awesome content, start giving some free value about your product, your service, or what you do or whatever it is. Just give some value to actually try to help people. And you will be amazed at how you can start making some noise in 2020. Let's go.